Welcome to Roadie Packing and day two of my North to South Spain tour. Yesterday I climbed up to a thousand meters in elevation and bivied by the side of the road about a mile south of Vega de Pass. It rained on and off throughout the night but I lucked out and had some clear skies to do some stargazing. I broke camp at about half past seven and here I am ready to start day two. Let's go. Well, thank you very much. Nice camp spot. <clears throat> you know what they say? Leave no trace. Time's having a, <clears throat> a ham bagel. Didn't get any butter because butter melts in the heat, doesn't it? Yeah, it'd be manky. Um, that's a nice view to wake up to, isn't it? It's gone eight o'clock. I woke up about ten past two. Um, near the was. Went back to sleep again. Uh, the stars, that's right, the stars were amazing. Obviously I can't get anything on film because I still haven't figured out how to do it. But yeah, the stars were fantastic. It was as if you were touching them. Well, today, those wi that wind farm thing there, this is the option I've got. I think I'm going along that road. I'll get this on the thing so I'm pointing correctly. There's a road along there and I can either shoot off up that way or I think shoot off up that way and there's like a reservoir which would be really cool if the sun clears. I don't think I'm going to go that way because there's a bit on the map which I'm not too sure of and I really don't want to get stuck on anything dodgy so I'm going to go that way up towards the um, reservoir. And there's, there's like a little town up there as as well. Get some breakfast or lunch, depending on how long it takes me to get there. Uh, yeah, cool. Right, day two. It's rock and roll. <laughs> So I've now left Cantabria and I actually don't know where I am now. I think it's Castile y Leon, maybe. I haven't seen a sign yet. I've seen a sign that says leaving Cantabria. Uh, look at these wind farm things, pretty cool. Obviously none of them are turning, but it's not a very windy day so far, so that's good. Burgos, 110 kilometers. Uh, I'm not actually going to Burgos. If I'd have went the other way, I'd have been going up that hill there instead of this hill here. And Burgos is actually over there. But this, this is the way I'm going, obviously. This will take me on to the there's a, what looks to be, what looks to be, I'm hoping it's all right, a nice gravel track next to the AP something. So it's a bit of a main road, Autopista, AP. Um, so yeah, that's the way I'm going. It looked like it was a nice cool route along the, along there. We'll see. I think it was an actual, one of these Via Verdes again, maybe. I can't remember now, it was ages ago when I did the route. Right, onwards and upwards. I'm actually starting to wake up now. <laughs> that that bagel did the trick. Oh, here we go. I think this is the top of whatever that is, Matanela. Top of Alto de. La Mata Nela, 971 meters. Huh. There we go. 
we get to the top, get into the login, Cantabria. Absolutely stunning. Oh, Recuerdo la. Oh, I forgot an ice. <laughs> Someone say what ice is in Spanish. <laughs> Apparently I'm going down that in a minute. Yes. Now this is more like it. That's the reason why I wanted to come this way. Look at that. So just coming into Castile Leon again. I think we're kind of skirting around the border. But yeah, look at that. So I'm gonna be coming in over there, I think. I think I'm going down here over there. Oh, I don't know if I'm going where those cars are. I think I might be going down that way. And then I'm skirting around it. Look at that, that's just like, beautiful views for miles because you get so high you can see everything this is lovely Whew. and then the other side I'm going to be going down 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 and then over to um, um, Bila Dolid I think it's called Bila Dolid uh, but that's in about 100 miles or so so not even thinking about that yet ah oh, this is lovely right Right, so I've just come down from up there somewhere. That was bloody lovely. So, um, where that truck's just going, oh, over there, you can see just on the ridge, there's a, oh, I can't even see it on the thing. There's a, um, there's a pyramid. Uh, on the map, that's called an, it's an Italian pyramid thing. So, I'll put it on the screen what it is. I was going to cycle to that, and then come back down but actually as you can see for me to get there i've got to go all the way down here then all the way up there just to come back down again i mean i want to see it but i don't want to see it that bad so uh, i might have to come over again in the car that sounds like a better plan to go and see that anyway so um <clears throat> onwards down that, that way Riding south on the 623. With a nice reservoir to the side of me, just above those trees. Or above, you know, beyond those trees even. Oh yeah, and I feel pitter patter of rain. Might not come to anything, we'll see. Cabanas. Hmm. The sun's coming out, yay! Or oh, it's coming through the clouds, um, overlooking the embalse, the reservoir. So I just um, had a Spanish tortilla. Um, in the little cafe back there uh i forget what the blinking place is called now i'll put it on the screen if i've forgotten anyway um there was a couple of guys in there and i was chatting in my dodgy spanish they didn't speak any english at all it was great it was brilliant but 
they were asking where I was going, blah, blah, blah. And I was trying to explain that I'm going on an autopista, the um, motorway, but there's a road running next to it. And one of the guys piped up. I said something like, I can't remember, it was um, a lado de la autopista es un camino, see? And um, camino. And uh, the, the, the other guy piped up. The, he seemed to like come alive. He said, ah, la um, Via de la Plata. And I said, si, 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 the Via de la Plata. <laughs> and then he said, oh, no. And I said, what? Care. And he just like gestured the up and down hill kind of thing. The old, he just went like that. I said, si, <laughs> yo entiende. I said, I know. Um, so yeah, that doesn't fill me full of confidence for the uh, um, Via de la Plata, but anyway, I'm enjoying this for the moment. It's, it's flattish, <laughs> yay. A basta. Just past the turn in to be able to go to the beach of the Embolse, uh, but uh, it's it's not like the day to jump in the bloody sea in in the uh, water. So I thought better of it. <clears throat> it's a mile over there, um, then a mile back again. So it's just don't know. It would have been nice to have camped up there. That, that was my kind of little plan in my head. If I got that far on day one, like I'm 15 miles into today, so it would have been a 60 mile first day. And I was thinking if I got my head in gear, I might, I might, I might have been able to, do, to have done that. But alas, it obviously wasn't meant to be. But here we go, this is nice. Just chilling out, meandering along these lovely roads. I know I've got a nice hill coming up, but uh, you know, I'm just enjoying this. Oh yeah, look, there's like a river or something down there. That's pretty good. Look at the mountains in the distance. Oh. Villanueva de las Rosas. Uh, new village of the Rosas? Of the Broken? Rosa is br broken, I think. I think Rosa means broken. Village of the Broken. I don't know. Right, so I'm just uh, meandering around this, um, the Embalse, the re reservoir, uh, on the CA730, ticking over the miles. I'm just on, I've just ticked over 20 miles for the day. It's gone half 12, it's quite, I didn't get going until about 10. So actually, thinking about it, it's not, not too bad. And I've stopped and had a, had a um, uh, Spanish tortilla as well, so which is nice. Um, so yeah, this will take me on to, hopefully, the Via de la Plata at some point, which runs adjacent to that main, you know, to, to the main road. There's another one of those water points. Agua de Red. Agua de Red. Yeah, I've just filled up down there. Agua de Red means tap water. So yeah, there you go, learn something every day.
Lagualera. Christina Aguilera, maybe that's where she lives, out there. Well, I'll be damned. You know, that is, uh, they're making a, it's a hydro dam, surely. Electric, so they've got pylons here. They're doing the dams. Uh, yeah. They're really going for it in the, um, whatever it's called, eco fighting stuff. Yeah, fair dinkum. It's pretty cool. There's the, whatever it is, tower thing. Yeah, good. And done our Dare Libro. Ebro is the Embalse de Libro. So that's the Embalse de Ebro. Pandasa, yeah. Alright, cool. So they're going to use that to make some power. Yeah, fantastic. That's alright. <clears throat> Luckily, they've got massive mountain top reservoirs. Yeah. Any one of you know those those birds up there? They look like birds of prey of some sort. Bottom there. So we're back on the gravel for I don't know how long. So that's the you go see a car in a minute. The outer pista, not this one below. There you go, you see that truck? That's the outer pista. That road below it, I don't know what road that is. I thought this was the road I was supposed to be going on next to the outer pista, but it looks like it's going the same way. And it's quite a cool little road. I hope it doesn't go to a dead end and have to go back down it again. Then have to go on that lo lower road. I don't know. Pretty cool. I think this is the road, you know. It's now going underneath that lower road again. Uh, oh, pretty cool. So, I did mean to be on the other road. I bumped into this guy, luckily, the farmer, and he said, follow him, and he's gonna direct me back onto the road. <laughs> Fantastic. Go. So I'm now on the N66, N611, N661, whatever it is. That guy was awesome. <laughs> he, he, <laughs> he did say about carrying my bike up one of these kind of, you know, the verge things, but there was a little hole in the fence. <laughs> and I said, no, no amigo. Um, otra, otra direccion or something. And he, I said, uh, how far is the is going through the town? Uno kilometro, he said. I said that's fine. <laughs> so I, he said, ah, uh, uh, seguro. I think it was something. Follow, <laughs> follow me. <laughs> that was brilliant. Yeah, lovely smashing bloke. So far, actually, everyone that I've met has been absolutely really helpful. No, 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 I problem. Hmm. <clears throat> so this road, this N611, reminds me of, you know, the Bates Motel? In the film Psycho. So you got the AP6, whatever it is, the Outer Pista, that's like a new road, the old road. Then this is obviously a bar that time forgot. It's a shame, really, because. Yeah, that would have been nicer over there. <laughs> anyway, I'm on 30, yeah, I think I'm just clicking over 30 miles. So it's two o'clock. Um, 
so it's just gone two o'clock so I'm just having a quick bagel using up the last of my ham um, and uh, I want to try and crack on and get I've got a big hill coming up and then that'll probably be me for the day I think as in the big hill you know it's going to be a few miles long so I hope it doesn't finish up the same as yesterday where I am um, just going up a hill like that <laughs> but I think I might be <laughs> with me luck Camino de Santiago. Well, that's good. Uh, if this road is part of the Camino de Santiago, then theory is that's the Via de la Plata, which will kind of take me down to uh, Seville now, I think. I don't know. Right, this is good. Fingers crossed. Well, that's a lot of white, white vans. Oh, and white cars. Wow, all on the back of a train. Just caught the last bit of that. Just went under the AP. It's called AP67. So I'm kind of this this road's just literally going next to it and snaking its way around. It's really nice. You get the occasional car just like this one. They're quite few and far between because most cars are on the uh, on the autopista. It's nice. What's that? Valderra. Dible. Better hmm, Dible. Okay. Sacco Focera. God, oh, man, this is getting tough. Can't oh, see a shriek on that one. Excellent descent there. Wow. <laughs> that was something else. That was nice. God, I was holding on for dear life. New road up there. Old road that I'm on. Really old road. I wonder what that's all about. Look down there, that's the AP60, whatever it is. And so I've climbed, that was a hell of a climb. Look at this say, this is lovely. I keep saying that, don't I? Look, that's the power station, I thought. Now look at this. Down, down, down it looks for, ah, oh, <laughs> for quite a while. So I've done, <clears throat> like I was saying um, yesterday, I want to get basically anything above 40 miles a day and I'm kind of happy with um, then if I finish earlier because I basically got to go you know got to go back to work got to earn some money you know um, so I've given myself yeah 40 days is basically three weeks uh, sorry 40 miles a day is basically three weeks um, so if I can get that a bit quicker but yeah I've done my 40 miles it's now coming up four o'clock 
uh, it goes dark at half eight, I think it was. So, what was it half nine? I can't remember that. But anyway, I want to get into camp by about eight, half eight. So I've still got a few hours. So I'm just going to take. Well, if it's like this, that'd be lovely. It's going to take his next few hours, nice and gentle. Anything over 40 miles, I'm happy with. Right, onwards and downwards. Mesa, Valencia, Santander. That's not a river. The train line. Oh, hang on, is that a river there? Oh, there we go. <laughs> uh, it's a bit green. <laughs> Glorious, eh? Well, at least it's a river. So when we're jumping it, right that descent, I'm like way down now. Uh, yeah, this is um, yeah, just make me think. Just come down, I'm gonna go up again. <laughs> Rio Rubagon. Hopefully, it's more impressive than the other one. Uh, oh, that's another track. Oh, hang on. Nah. <laughs> it's a train bloody track. It's like red rock. Is that sulfur? I don't know. Um, again, write in the comments below what you reckon that the colouring of that rock is. Yeah. Oh, the wind is, oh no, here he comes again. The wind doesn't know what it wants to do. Like one second it's a tailwind, next second it's a headwind. So yeah, we're all over the place at the moment. Um, which is fine. Which is fine. Uh, there's a car coming up behind me. He doesn't seem to sound like he knows what he wants to do. Oh, that's why he was going slow, because he wanted to turn off. Very good. Right. I'm not going down that road. I'm going back on to here. Across the chevrons. Naughty boy. There's a river. That's not bad. It's passing a little town now. I haven't stopped in or anything. Don't need any food at the moment. Just uh, plodding along, taking these last few miles up to 48 miles at the moment. This side can't see. It's 10 to 5. It's 10 to 5. Yeah. Going well. Ah, oh, this is lovely. There's a there's a castle over there at the top of that hill. On the edit, I might try and zoom in on that. It's all sandy now from where they've done the road. That's obviously nothing geological. I don't think. Like that, the sun has come out for the afternoon. Fantastic. Check that beast out. That was not what I was expecting to be coming past me. Right, how many miles have I done? So, yeah, it's half five, 56 miles. I might even get to 60 or something. Wow, it's starting to flatten out now. Oh, 
famous last words, eh? Anyway, let's see what this. Well, this is good. I'm kind of pondering a hotel, uh, just because there's no flat ground, it's all like this. I can't, well, I suppose I could sleep on that if it got to really late. But uh, my ass is on fire now. So I'm after a nice, either flat camp spot, somewhat obvious. I mean, it's only half six, so I've still got like an hour and a half to find somewhere. Um, but this is nice, just cycling along in, in the shade. That sun's actually quite hot when you get into it. Uh, yeah, this is good. Yeah, I mean, that must lead to something, but it's a bit early now. Oh. <laughs> Ski moving. So that concludes day two of my Spanish North to South adventure. 65 miles today, which totals 110 so far. I stayed at the El Albergo de Arrera Hostel, which was basic but fine. It gave my ass a rest from the saddle much needed. I'd like to make a special mention on the screen to my roadie pack and trail angels who helped make this content possible. There's a link in the description below if you'd like to become a roadie packing trail angel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on day three for some canal and some Eurovelo 1 madness.